in this chapter, uh, you will see there are uh, units which you might not have heard before. Okay? Ha, you keep, please keep quiet. Okay? So, these units may be from magnetism chapter, may be from electrostatics chapter, may be from modern physics chapter. Okay? So, you will keep on hearing terms like, uh, you know, Planck's constant, then magnetic intensity, okay, things like that. So, there, every physical unit has a dimension. Even these have dimensions. Okay? Now, since we have not learned them, so probably you will not be able to find out their dimensions yet. Getting it? Their dimension you may not be able to write down in terms of just mass, length and time. You may have to use things like Kelvin, Ampere and things like that. Okay? So, it is okay that you are not getting those questions. Alright? Those we are going to learn. These units you are going to learn later on. Okay? But then this chapter doesn't assume that you don't know those things. Okay? So, basically when you do those chapters, then again you have to solve few questions related to those units from this chapter. Ready? Alright? Now, do you have a doubt? You know, something which you know you should get it, as in the units which you are aware of, but you are not able to solve it. Do you have any doubts? Question number 1 to 10, any doubts? Between 1 and 2, any doubts? First and second question you have doubts. 1 to 10, no doubts. 11 to 20, no doubts. So no study, no doubt. Angular acceleration. Angular acceleration. See, the acceleration has what unit? Meter per second. Meter per second square. It is an acceleration of your linear length, as in how quickly the velocity is there. How quickly the velocity is changing its, you know, value. Similarly. Angular acceleration is related to angle. Okay, instead of meter, you have radians. So it is radians per second square. Okay, but if then if you want to find out the dimension, do you know what is the dimension of radians? Dimension. Dimensionless, no dimension. So angular acceleration has what unit? What dimension? T minus, t minus two. Simply t minus two. <laughs> angular momentum. Angular momentum. You will learn later on. It's R cross mv. It is basically length into linear momentum. If you just talk about dimension, dimension of length into dimension of momentum. Okay? But then we did not know the formula. So it is okay that you are not able to get the dimension of that. Okay? So you will learn about angular momentum in a chapter called rigid body motion. Then you will be able to get it. I mean, there is nothing conceptual as such which you don't know which will stop you to solve those questions just that you don't know the equation getting it all right so any doubts any other doubts till question number 40 anyone has any doubts again you will learn in uh, fluid chapter question of viscosity you will learn in chapter fluids huh. which one 24. Open to 24. 24. In the above equation, B by C are same as those of what? 3.2. 25. Okay. What is the dimension of Boltzmann constant? Have you heard of Boltzmann constant in chemistry? Have you heard of uh, uh, gas constant? Gas constant divided by Avogadro number is what? That is the Boltzmann constant. You have not heard of it. Uh, Avogadro number is dimensionless. Any number is dimensionless. So uh, Avogadro number, sorry, uh, uh, gas constant divided by a number also has a dimension of gas constant. So just find out the dimension of gas constant. How do you find dimension of gas constant? How do you find? I know that PV is equal to nRT. Okay? So, gas constant R will be equal to 
PV divided by NT. Okay, so dimension of R will be equal to dimension of P into V divided by dimension of N into T. Getting it? P into V has same dimension as energy. You can check that. Alright, so or you can directly write uh, pressure is force divided by area, dimension of that, into dimension of volume is what? L cube. Let me solve it anyway. Dimension of pressure is dimension of force divided by dimension of area into dimension of volume divided by dimension of moles divided by dimension of T. Okay. Now, the amount of substance has a dimension or not? One of the basic quantity is amount of substance. Yes or no? So it, even though practically it doesn't have a unit as such, but then we take it as a dimension. Okay. So force unit is what? Mass times acceleration mnt minus 2 divided by area dimension is L square into volume dimension is L cube divided by dimension n. Temperature is what? Kelvin. Understood? So L square cancels one of the power two there. So you will get M L2 T minus 2 K minus 1 and N minus 1. This is the dimension of R gas constant. Isn't it straightforward? Okay, you have to keep your mind clean about it. I mean, you have to have clarity. Don't assume anything. Just go by what you have learned. Okay, you will get the answer easily. Okay. 26. Dimension of magnetic flux density. Again, this you will learn in magnetism chapter in class 12th. Okay. So, let's not get into magnetism right now. Okay. Any other doubt? 31. 31. Okay, this is interesting. 10 raised to power. Ten raised to power 80 plus 3. You need to find dimension of A, right? What could be the dimension of A? Oh, look at number 3. What is the dimension of 3? Dimension of 3 is nothing. There is no dimension of number 3. You are adding 3 with A into T. Is it possible to add A into T with 3 if A into T has some dimension? You can only add if both of them have same dimension. Right? So A into T should have same dimension as 3 which is no dimension. Getting it? So dimension of A should be T raised to power minus 1. Okay? And anyways, if you have a number to the power, the power always should be dimensionless. This should be dimensionless. Okay? So if you write e to the power something, this must be dimensionless. Okay, if you write sine of anything inside the bracket, this thing must be an angle, and angle as angles are dimensionless. Getting it? So these basic things you should keep in your mind. All right. What else? Because it doesn't have any physical significance. Like for example, uh, ten raised to power meter. Doesn't make any sense. Physically, doesn't make any sense. Okay, so it can be like this much power in meters, but it can't be dimension to the power. All right. What else? Any other doubt? Thirty. Three zero. The dimensions of the quantity L divided by RCV, C is capacitance, V is potential difference. You will learn in electrostatics chapter number 1, class 12. Okay? See, this chapter makes you aware that how 
class 11 is different from 10. In class 10, one chapter is isolated. It is no way related to other chapters. So you can just solve questions from that chapter and master that topic. But here, the first, the most basic chapter itself has connections with all the different chapters in the physics. Ready? So once you complete the syllabus, then again you have to solve questions which test you on multiple chapters together in a single question. Okay. So we will learn this in chapter number 1, class 12. What else? Anything else? No. Okay. So what is Stephen's constant? Stephen's constant will come in thermodynamics. Okay, you learn in heat transfer. The radiation heat transfer, there is a formula to it and in that there is a constant that comes in. There is this formula, rate of heat transfer due to radiation is sigma E A temperature raised to power 4. This is Stephen's constant, sigma. This is what rate at which heat is transferred. So this is energy per unit time. Can you find out the dimension now? Now that I have given you this formula. Find out the dimension of Stephen's constant, sigma. All of you, try this out. E is dimensionless. E is a ratio. It's a dimensionless quantity. Find out. Yes, A is area, T is temperature. A is area, T is temperature, D by D T is rate at which heat is flowing, heat energy is flowing. Flowing could be wrong word, radiated is a proper word. Rate at which energy is radiated. All of you saw this? T is temperature. Let's say its dimension should be same as 
any kind of energy. Understood? So dimension of Q should be what? M L square T minus 2. Dimension of T is time T. This is dimension of sigma, dimension of E, dimension of area is what? L square dimension of temperature to the power 4 is K. Let me have to write A here because T is taken by like this. All of you understood this? So L square, L square gone. This has no dimension. Okay? So dimension of Stephen's constant sigma M T minus 3 K minus 4. This is the dimension. How many of you got this? You have taken dimension of T as T. Okay? So like this you will see that all the questions if you know the formula can be solved easily. What is stopping you probably is because you may not know 